Why, hello and welcome back to all of my friends, my fans, and my fellow FTFLers to the longest weekly running episodic fantasy football update show out there. It is the one, it is the only FTFL weekly update, and yes, it is I, not only the host of this award-winning show, not only the owner of the two-time, two-time league champion Hulkamaniacs, but the reigning, defending, undisputed champion of the Frozen Tundra Football League. It says right there on the title, look closely, hit pause if you want to, Right there, that's me, Brett Sieber. But I'm going to tell you, this week we're going to start the show off a bit of a sad note. I don't like to start the show off this way. This show is supposed to be fun. This show is supposed to bring friends together, provide a little bit of laughter, brighten your week maybe. What I have to say next it will do none of that. Next year, during the Frozen Tundra Football League season, there will be a new champion. <sighs> because I lost. I lost. I lost to a good team. But it wasn't just lost this week. I've lost a lot this year. And I'm out. I'm out of the playoffs. I will not have a chance to defend this in the playoffs. I mean, sure, my chance to defend it was this season, and I failed. I failed. Uh, now, I'm sure for some of you are like, Brett, that's the best news we've heard in ages. You know what? It's still mine. And it will be for the next eight and a half to nine months. So rest assured, there will be pictures as I take this around the country. I'm going to take this to the narrows of Zion. I'm going to take this back to the mean streets of Chicago. And God knows where else we are going to party like it's 1999, which is almost the last time I won this before the last time I won this. All right, enough of the doom and gloom. Back to the fun. All right, the playoffs, as I mentioned, I've lost. That means the playoff field is set. Seedings are still up in the air. We're going to have to see what happens this final week for those final three spots. Markser, Hagen, Saltmarsh, all three of the... Markser, these nuts nuts, Adam Swart, I, you know, I... And Adam Saltmarsh all volleying for that final, well, who's going to, you know, have to play the best seed, the worst seed, whatever. Those three guys are still fighting with each other. Um, oh, by the way, one team that's not really fighting with anyone is Andy. He is now the second team this season to join the elusive 10-win club. This is Andy's third 10-win season in league history. Definitely the most of any one team. The last couple times he was a 10-win team, he went to the title game. He won one, and he lost one. Will history repeat itself in one way or another? I guess time will tell. Something completely just bizarre, not related at all to what's going on in the field. Hold on, time out, full stop. The Reaper has kids? Whew. The Reaper has kids. Somebody slept with the Reaper. What is going on in this world? I was beside myself and and also at the same time real happy that I've got this, the immunity idol, the thing that will protect me forever and always. That's right, Reaper. You ain't gonna reap me. Nope not gonna happen all right we're almost to the games we had a david and goliath situation this week and wouldn't you know it david david got the better end of it and of course i'm talking about game number one the pack attack coming in newly minted 10 win team member coming in at 10 and 2 taking on the lowly not however first on the clock architect as of yet and we're going to have to put a pause on that because we're going to go the distance. Matt is going to go all the way to the end of the season and fight desperately for the second overall choice in next year's draft. He came into this one 2-10. and ten. No one gave him a snowball's chance in hell and or a Vikings chance at winning the Super Bowl yet. Yet in a season where 
God, let's hope not. In a season where anything is possible, anything was indeed possible. 103 and a half for Matt, 70 and a half for Eric. It was Eric's second lowest score of the season. If you're Matt, Tyler Lockett had a sneaky good season with Geno Smith as this quarterback. 22 and a half points for him. David Carr, 20. Rashad White. Is Rashad White going to be a top 20 running back next year? A top 15? Dare I say top top 10? I mean, I think if Tom Brady's gone, probably not. But Rashad White seems to have a massive upside. 13 for him. David Montgomery, 12 points. Now, throughout this update, we're going to highlight a few players that all the way back after week one, I said, hey, these folks are on bust alert because they were bust the year before and they seemingly could be busts again. And one of them was David Montgomery. Now, remember, Sid took David Montgomery in the second round of this draft. David Montgomery is currently the 25th overall best running back in the league. I know there's 10 teams. Everyone gets two keepers. A lot of running backs get kept. I think that's at least bust nominee. I don't know about worthy, but maybe bust nominee. Uh, he did have 12 points. No one else was below five. Matt had a great week. If you're Eric, it was Tony Pollard, 19, uh, Josh Allen, 16, and five players. I have not written this in Eric's box score, maybe, but once this year. Five players at four or below. Eric falls to 10 and three. Matt rises to three and 10, and he ain't dead yet. Speaking of not dead yet, these nuts nuts. <laughs> Giggity. Uh, coming in at six and six, taking on Mana. Four-time lucky pants breaking and entering title stealing thieving McThee fast champ Mana ha I did it one take that time take that Markser at seven and five and Markser took it as well from Swart Swart eighty and a half points Markser sixty seven if you're Swart I've heard rumors you didn't want to make the playoffs I heard rumors you wanted to lose out well guess what you didn't and you did <gasps> so. Congratulations, Adam Swart. You are fighting through adversity even without Saquon Barkley because of that awesome trade deadline fiasco. Uh, if you're Swart, Joe Burrow, 24 points. DK Metcalf, another player who Swart, I told you, you needed to win a title. And lo and behold, he carried you to the playoffs. 18 points, Phillies defense, 11. Uh, Dalton Schultz, 3 points. George Kittle, one point. That's right. This week, in case you missed it, Swart did flex his tight end. I hope you got a good peek while it happened. Now, George Kittle was another one of those players on the bus list. He was a bus the year before, and in part because George Kittle just can't stay on the field. George Kittle right now is the number nine tight end in the league. He was a second-round pick. Tight ends are kind of weird. If your name is not Travis Kelsey, no one seems to care this year. Um... Although a second-round pick for a tight end, I'm going to have to call you a bust, George Kittle. Maybe just a permanent bust for here and henceforth going forward. Uh, Jeff Markser, A.J. Brown, 26 points for him. Justin Fields, 18, 12 of which came on one stupid play. Can we ever stop a running quarterback? I mean, come on, fellas. Let's go ahead, show some pride, stop a running quarterback. God. Mm. Makes me angry beyond belief. Uh, Mark, sure everyone else was five and a half below. Uh, did he get the dud out of the way as he heads off into the playoffs? Was this the week where he kind of like, you know what? Let's get that one out of the way. We're going to play great down the stretch. He was 0-2 against Swart this year, so he does not hold the tiebreaker in that realm. He is 3-5 and five for a division record. Jeff Markser is going to sneak his way into the playoffs at 7-6, seven and six, maybe 7-7, seven and seven, maybe 8-6, and six, whatever it might be. Firepower is there, but what Markser's team, what Mana team is going to show up, that is the real question. All right, last game here before the break. The Radioactive Monkeys coming in at 6-6. Six and six. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, I know you. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Let me tell you what's going to happen. It's about time you just get moving on. Ain't nothing to see here, Mr. Reaper. It's not your time. Oh, no. I, I don't think you understood. It's time for you to keep on walking. That's what it's time uh... for. But, yeah, you know what? There's nothing to see back behind me. You just want to stop right there. But it's what's up. Yes, I'm sorry. It wasn't your time. Six taking on the Val Hell of Vandal at three and nine. And uh, I really feel like I should put you on the list, Adam Saltmarsh, or Josh Jacobs on the list. However, I have a nominee for the list, and we're getting there soon enough. Saltmarsh riding the wave from last week. He came all the way back and snuck one out on Monday. Sorry, an overtime game on Sunday. 
And he snuck one out again. 82 and a half to 81 for Peter. Josh Jacobs continues to lead the way. 17. San Fran's defense, 16. Stefan Diggs, 15 and a half. Samaj P. Ryan in a spot start, given up on by the commanders years ago, all of a sudden has come back. Massive, awesome beard, does nothing but just eat up points. 13 for him. Um, Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson is here. I don't know if you all saw this this week. He started Deshaun Watson. I don't know. My quarterback's on a bye. I need a quarterback for this week. I know what I'll do. I'll pick up the guy that hasn't played for almost two seasons. That is a recipe for success. If by success you mean near disaster, nailed it. Two points. And by the way, boo. Boo to you, Adam Saltmarsh, for picking him up. Uh, Peter, on the other hand, is a real quarterback. Patrick Mahomes didn't really show out this week. 16 points. He averages 24. You take that eight-point difference, and all of a sudden Adam Saltmarsh loses, and maybe I still got a shot. Thanks, Patrick Mahomes. Maybe you're sorry I should make the But you know what? No, I'm saving it for someone else. Run CMC, 18 points. Youngway Koo had 14 as Valhalla falls to 3 and 10. All right. It is time for the break. And we have a special surprise here for you tonight to give us, I guess, what I'm, I'm presuming is going to be a, a, a state of the FTFL address. That's right. None other. Sid Hagen, the commissioner. Boys and girls, welcome, Commissioner Hagen, to the update. Hey, great to be there. Long time no see. What are you doing? Stop. No. What, stop. What are you doing? No, oh. You knocked it over. I did try. I'm sorry. Gosh. Oh, hey. It's did my you trophy. A, you mean to set this uh, set over here? What? I, I just kind of sat up. Give me that. We don't need to see that. What was that? It was that stupid number muncher's oh, chart. I love no, the number muncher. You know what? The number muncher can suck it. I haven't heard from him in a couple weeks, and it's been a real, well, outside of losing to you, it's been a that real good. That was a good, great game. I tied my season, you know, high from the week prior, by the way. I have finished That's strong. Cute. You know what? I don't have much to say to that. <laughs> you know what? The floor is yours, Commissioner. What do you got here? Oh, uh, uh, not, a, not a whole. Well, I do have some big news here, but first, I, I do have a little bit of oh, a, a tease. playoff uh, seating here. Uh, update here. Um, this is the first year in a long time okay. that we know the playoff teams before the last week of the season. We don't have to go through this. Am I in? Am I out? You're out. We've all been there. We've <laughs> all been, am I in? Am I out? <laughs> Very true. I, I I don't know what but to so, say to that, but... What is going on? <laughs> Stop that! You know what? I'm going to get this over here where it feels like it's safer. God, All right, so fine. Everyone's seed is not set, but we know who's in. So so I do have an update. Uh, I do have the top seeds pretty much figured out. The bo the bottom three fools. My God, there's so many damn scenarios. We're just going to let it play out this is week. The top but... bottom or the bottom top? <laughs> the top bottom. Top bottom, okay. So first of all, as, as hard as it is to believe, the team that is the fifth highest scoring team that made the playoffs is the number one seed currently. He has beaten me. He has beaten Eric. And he, and he is tied with Eric for record. So, therefore, Andy right now holds the number one seed. Wow. So, with the win, I don't know if I'm going to provide one. a lot of resistance. So, I'm sorry. Well, I'm, I'm hoping so. Yeah, hope well, so, I'll, I'll try. But... With, with the win, he's in. Yeah, with, okay. the, with the Eric loss, he's still the number one seed. So, okay. right. um, if they both win, he's the number one seed. So, okay. it's, the only way Eric gets the number one seed is if he wins and he loses. All right. Okay. Ooh, um, Eric, that just, for so much <laughs> promise, so much dominance... I'd be already nervous. Like, you just kind of feel it slipping away a little bit. Now, you, Eric's pretty much the number two seed. I'm pretty much the number three seed. There is one scenario where I can take it. If I score more <laughs> than 35 and a half points well, I've heard. and win. Anyways, what? Sorry. If I score more than 30, more than 35 and a half, more than Eric does, okay. and Eric loses, I win. I'm the number two seed. Well, that's a big deal. You get a bye. Which so. did happen this last week. I did outscore Andy. Or Eric by uh, more than thirty-five and a half points. Okay, All so right. it's possible. So it's possible. A there's so a chance. There's a chance. But I'm pretty much locked into the three seed, and then okay. the rest of the three fools at the bottom they don't even play each other. So it's like there's a billion scenarios. So okay. I tried to figure it out. God, I hope. Somebody wins, somebody loses, and it makes it a lot easier. Don't all win, don't all lose. So, Please. Okay, so I just have one question about all of this. Do you remember that time I beat you by one point in the Fantasy Bowl, and I won this little baby right here? Do you remember that? <laughs> it was so long ago. Oh, it's almost, you, could, you want to touch it? It's no, going to come to me this year, that. so it's, it's, it's coming to me. You know what? It's right here for the next eight by and a half months. By the way, months. 
I am being the number three seed. I am the uh, number one in the power rankings. I have ten more all around wins than the rest of than Eric, the greatest team in the world. And I've got five like more pairs than the average person of socks in my sock drawer. Who the hell cares? God. This guy. This guy. Jesus. All right. So you said you had a big announcement. Was that it? Uh, no, that's just kind of our general playoff okay. update. Okay. Uh, the big announcement is uh, I have decided to step down as your commissioner of the uh, FTFL. I've been in charge for long enough. Um, it is time for somebody else to take the reins. So wait, wait, wait. Like you're like is it effective immediately? No, no. I, I'm finishing out the year. Okay, okay. But start. Somebody's gonna have to take over for next year. So you all be thinking about who wants to run the league next year. How many so. years have you been the commissioner now? Oh, I haven't calculated, but it's probably a good five or six. I'm guessing at this you know point. What? And you've done a swell job. I appreciate oh, everything you. you've done, Commissioner Hagen. And you know what? A lot of us have taken turns, and I've been pushing for years. It's Eric. It's Eric is the next commissioner. I think that's my vote. All right. Well, if you're done uh, talking, um, do you want to look more? Do you want to look more at this? Well, yeah, it's coming to me. So I, can I? Uh, no, I told you, you don't get to touch it. Stop it. All right. You know what? Game number four. Oh, here we go. Hulkamaniacs coming in at five and seven, taking on Make Cray America great. Did and I tell you how great of a game this was? Great and glorious again. Uh, again, I said to you, this was, I tied my highest point total of the year. Three of the last four weeks, I've had 93 plus points. My team has finished, I finished strong. If there's one thing in life I do, I finish strong. So what did you score, 93 this week? 94 and a half. Oh, okay, However, I didn't even pay attention. So. I know, because you scored 119 and a half. How many times have I scored more than 94 and a half points this year? A lot. A lot. All right, all right. And the main reason you scored 119 and a half points is the reason is the is the person that's going on the damn list this week. Did I ever tell you he's one of my favorite players? And in... he is not. That's a lie. This player had everything he could have ever wanted. He had arguably the greatest quarterback of all time throwing him passes. He had a city which, by the way, if it hits the fan, he's surrounded by water. Where did he go? The desert. There's so many people going out there. There's nothing out there. I mean, is money going to buy you everything you need? I don't think so, because it clearly isn't buying him a good football team. I don't know. So, he got the same record as the Packers do. You know what? Do you want to make the list, too? I would I can like put to make the list. your name right next to his. I'll save room in case I feel that's necessary. Devontae Adams, you clown. You know what? You caught one touchdown. I was like, all right, fine. We'll and then all of a sudden, like five minutes later, oh, there's a 10-point touchdown. And it just seems like every time I'm going to turn around, there's another 10-point Devontae Adams touchdown coming from some schlub named David Carr. You know, the, Sorry, Derek Carr. Don't even know which car, and it doesn't even matter. Devontae Adams, you're a bum. You're a has-been. You're a hack. But if you want to come back and play for the Packers next year, we'll gladly take you. It, it for must, now, you have made the list. It must tell you something that he had everything in Green Bay, but yet he didn't want to play with the greatest quarterback of all time. You know what? Your time when you had the floor has since passed. I think I would prefer you just stop talking. I want to hear how good this game is, though. Tyreek Hill also had a 10-point touchdown, 22 and a half. Dallas defense, 17. Justin Jefferson, who I will argue, and I started this argument with you, is only of the last three years the second best receiver to enter the NFC North. 11 and a half points for him. Thanks for trading him to me, by the way. You know what? Good. I'm glad because I have a better receiver from the NFC North on my team now. Uh, Daniel Carlson, my favorite player in Sid's team, 11 points. Mark Andrews, four. He was the only one below seven points. I called Justin Jefferson the second best receiver, and you're like, well, Brett, who, who, who? is the best receiver in the NFC North. If you're asking yourself that, you haven't been paying attention. Because over the last Amara four Ross weeks... St. Brown? Over the last four weeks... No. And Justin Steelers? Jefferson has 56 and a half points. The number one receiver in the NFC North in the last four weeks has 35... Oh, that magic number you were talking about earlier. 35 more points than that. Christian Watson. He's, by the way, he broke... Justin Jefferson's touchdown total from Justin's rookie season played way fewer games. The dude is straight speed. Should we should we ask about the overall fantasy points scored on the season? 
you know what? The season's not done yet. Let's see where this plays out. Uh, you know, speaking of playing out, it didn't play out well for me. Of course, Watson's on the bench. He is my rookie keeper. I have great receivers who are now finally all health, healthy, including Amon Ross, St. Brown, 23 and a half. Keenan Allen, 17. Uh, Higgins, I know, scored a touchdown. He did not get over 10, but I like those players. Just again, too little, too late. Rodgers and Meyer both got 10. A.J. Dillon, welcome back. Again, too little, too late. 13 and a half for him. I followed the 5 and 8. I missed the playoffs. Sid marches on in search of the number 2 seed. whoop -dee damn do you know what in speaking of in search of why don't you go in search of another place to sit uh, i'm tired of your presence here i have spent enough time thanks for your update and all of your service what are you looking for you know you don't stop what do you get out of here you're like a disease <laughs> hell stop go away you know what and thanks for coming that was really nice anytime anytime all right mixing cocktails nine and three last game here coming in taking on team dickweed at four and eight and andy marches on one 103 to john's 88 if you're andy jalen hurts who again does not have as many touchdown passes as aaron Rodgers. fact uh led the way with 34 points but he runs he's a high school quarterback he's not a pro he's not even a college quarterback he's a high school quarterback CD Lamb, 14 and a half points. Uh, by the way, another one of those names I said we'd talk wait, about. Wait. I got one more thing. I almost forgot. I you almost left. Forgot. What are you doing here? Sorry, I, I got this. I'm sorry to interrupt. <laughs> what? I almost forgot. What? A special surprise for you. What do you sorry, mean special surprise? shot here. You got to come all the way yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Oh, this is the greatest thing ever here. What are you taking? This is the ever. What the... Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening right now. All right, sorry. My eyes are burning. I'm going to do the rest of this show with my eyes closed. I can't believe what I just saw. So glad you remembered that. Thank you. Um, where was I? Uh, C.D. Lamb was a first-round pick. He's the number eight overall receiver. He is definitely not a bust. Zeke Elliott, 13 and a half. Dalvin Cook, 11. Jamar Chase, welcome back, nine and a half for him. Garrett Wilson, having himself a heck of a season, 14 points on the bench. Uh, Andy joins the 10-win club for the third time. I already mentioned that earlier. If you're John, you are just limping your way to the finish. Herbert and uh, McLaurin both had 16. Uh, DeAndre Swift. DeAndre Swift, does that sound right? DeAndre Swift? Something Swift. Yeah. Highest score since week one. Of last year, 17 and a half points for him. Barkley, 12 and a half, the number six running back in the league. Great season, not enough for John in the end. Uh, Cam Akers, <laughs> what a story, what a season. 16 and a half points for him. It was his best fantasy game of his career. In Swartz going, what the hell happened? Maybe Cam Akers is John's keeper. I don't know. All right, let's stud, dud, and cringy this and get on out of here. Start of the week, Jalen Hurts, 34. Uh, Devontae... Adams with 30 points. Uh, Dud of the Week marks his team. Uh, they really laid an egg against Swart. Not that it would have probably mattered a whole lot. He wouldn't have had a shot at the number two seed. So he is what it is. But I'd be concerned. Um, also, uh, what, what do I have here? Um, Wilson. Wilson. Who's Dud of the Week Wilson? PK, zero points. Oh, Jeff Wilson for uh, what the hell? Peter's team played. He got himself... Three touches, zero points. If he does anything, catches a couple balls or two, gets, I mean, he gets enough points and Peter wins the game. Again, it really didn't matter, so it's not much of a thing. Cringy, salty, starting Deshaun Watson. Jesus, what? I, I know, I guess you felt backed into a corner, but I just wouldn't want to be backed into a corner with that. Okay, I'm done. Week 14, here we go. Final week of the regular season. Pack attack. Oh my gosh, they got to 10, but can they get to 11? They had a shot of the league's best overall win total. Now they can only tie it coming into 10-3. Taking on the aforementioned radioactive monkeys at 7-6. and six. D's Nuts Nuts also 7-6. and six. Taking on Team Dickweed at 4-9. and nine. Make Cray America great and glorious again coming in at 9-4. and four. Taking on the Valhalla Hammerless Vandals. That's right, Peter. I beat you again this year. You gotta go a whole nother year without that hammer. At 3 and 10, Mana, four time lucky pants, breaking and entering, title stealing, thief make thief face, champ Mana, coming in at 7 and 6, taking on the architect at 3 and 10, and last but not least, the Hulkamaniacs at 5 and 8, taking on the mixing cocktails in the Brother Bowl, part D. Again, a lot of buys this week. Uh, really, if I was Mark, sir, I would just go ahead and just forfeit and not play. Granted, I'm not even in the playoffs and Jeff had a chance. So again, just a reminder, he didn't even get the decent for that. All right, folks, that's it. It has been an amazing episode outside of that one. Sorry, we should probably have like a TV 14 rating on this one for the nudity that happened on the show today. First time ever on the show, nudity. That's right, go to bed with that image in your brain. Anyways, until next week, my friends.
I'm almost done. Hold on. Jeez. We're, what? All right. Until next week, my friends. You know what? The show's over. We'll see y'all next week. Fine. I'm coming. Hold your, keep your pants on. What is so important? This better be good. Coming, I'm coming. Fine. Gosh, the show is almost over. Uh, whoa, 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 What are you doing here? Babe, where's Bort? Bort? Where's Bort? <laughs> Come with me now. I don't have to go. I don't have to go. No, no, no. See this? I this is I I got I don't I have the belt. I don't have to I don't I don't have to go. Oh. It's not it's not my time. Not, it's, that it's, will be listen, you. Listen, I don't you gotta understand. We gotta oh, no, no. Me. I, I, listen, I, I I've I've been good. I've been really good. This was this was a bad I'm season. I'm not Santa. It was just a bad season. I'm sorry. Have to go to can't we just can we sit down and talk oh, about this? I don't, oh, oh my gosh, I don't wanna You will see your past, no, present, I, and future. No, 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 you don't understand. Reaper, Reaper, I'm I'm a fan of yours. I, I think you do great work. I just think I think you made a mistake, Reaper. I what is uh, seven and twenty six against franchises lost to FTFL hit? Uh, you know what? But, 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 but those don't really Thank count. You, no, those don't count anymore. You can't count that. They're not in the league anymore. Do some. Who is right? Oh, no one's even seen yes. him. Miles Gasser Rip 2021. Wait! Drafted by the Hulkamanians. Hold up, hold up. Listen, I, year, give me a chance. It, it was it, that was this year. That couldn't have been this year. Oh. I'm the champ. Like no way was that this year. I don't, really? No, no, please, Crazy. please. You know, you know, I, I just need a little more time. I just need a little more time, and I'll be able to turn this around. I promise. I oh. promise. What is 20, this one? 2022. No playoffs. No 2023 first. <laughs> no problems. Just kidding. No, but I, I listen. I have good. I have good players now, though. I, I they're getting oh, better. Both of your players. <laughs> I don't want it. No, I, can't we just uh, let's go back inside and talk? The FTFL Packers, what? Aaron Jones, Aaron Rodgers, AJ Dillon, Christian Watson, Romeo Dobbs. No wonder you lost. You have as many wins as the Packers. Welcome to the purple. The Vikings. I see them in your future. Listen, listen, hold up, hold up, I, Mr. Reaper. You spelt Romeo Dobbs' name wrong. Can we get that fixed? I, it's just, too late. No, it's not too late. But that's the thing. It doesn't have to be too late. It can be. We can do this. So, like, no, 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 it doesn't. Uh, what is no? Uh, Rip FTFL <sighs> fantasy champion twenty twenty one. Next FTFL championship twenty thirty nine. It doesn't have to be. I'm just saying. If you give me a chance, I think we can do it again next year. I think we can do it. We can maybe even do it this year. We're let's, here. let's talk to the commission. Let's reinstitute things. I'll be the, the seventh playoff team. Let's just no. You no. <laughs> No! <laughs> 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 <laughs>